we're making a collage painting today. You know, this works at night, so I'm getting a fair bit of glare. See how that works out. Okay, I've got the frame set a bit more. Don't like that glare, but too bad for now. We'll go ahead anyways. I have all these papers cut out. Thousands of them. Too many. I look like a crazy hoarder with all these sheets of paper, but it's all right. It's not too serious yet. There's no rats in the house that I know of. I don't know if I like that blue. I'm going to get a different blue. Okay, I'm just going to make a pencil mark here where I want the bottom. Uh, sheet to go and I know the sequence I'm going to use so I'm going to use I don't need, I don't need that bit so I tear that bit off okay I'm just going to glue down here for a minute a little tricky the way I'm setting this up but it's not so bad okay I have um a thin layer of glue underneath there. I'll show you my workstation in another time. And this tripod is getting a little bit in the way of my uh, gluing down. I'm changing these papers over and over because we're picking up glue. But it doesn't matter. I have a thousand sheets here ready to go. Not a thousand, but you get the picture. Many. So the first sheets are uh, large sheets that I know exactly where they go because there's only usually a sequence of two or three sheets. Easy to memorize that. So you put down the back part of the overlap first, but there's things that are going to overlap on this. So obviously this one has to go down first. Uh, watch for air bubbles. Get rid of the air bubbles by pressing out. If you do trap an air bubble in there, you can cut with a blade, make a little hole in this, and force the air out. Uh, the trick is not to use too much glue so that you're not trapping gobs of glue without a, a, a way for the glue to escape through the edges. So that's just uh, making sure that every part is covered, but there's no excess. Now I'm just going to mark the top sheet. Uh, so that there's no guesswork when I'm gluing down. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's wrong sequence. Yeah, sorry, wrong sequence. This one goes in first. Hmm, what am I going to do there? Okay, I'll do that. Yeah, that doesn't really matter so much. So I can go over there. Okay, I'm going to meet to this edge. Next, glue down. I may have put a little more glue on here than I needed. That's okay. I wonder if that part needs to be dropped just a bit. Just touch it into place. Try not to get too much glue if you don't want it. And work quickly. Sorry, I could do a better job of uh, arranging the hard stuff here. Okay, try to do this part quickly so that you're not leaving the glue without pressing it down. 
Oops. Too much glue on that paper. Keep pressing. All I'm using is my, my thumb and my hand like this. Go in both directions. Watch that you're not trapping air pockets, or glue pockets. Especially make sure that the corners are glued down. What I sometimes do is later is just go and try to pick up the corner. If a little bit come, comes unglued, I just force a little bit of, I sort of work it up with a blade and work a little bit more glue underneath there. But those are fine finishing touches at the end of the work. Okay, that's the second layer in. Now, here's where I make a mark to see where the top is going to be so I don't second guess while I'm gluing. I'm trying to go fast when you glue. Time is of the essence there. Okay, I don't like seeing that glare there. But anyways, better lighting, better systems of light will come later. We're just trying to get some process out, see what it all looks like. Cleaning up my workstation as I go. <laughs> what a mess. Come on, get up there. Okay, that's more or less in position. Wipe my fingers with a rag. Get the glue off my hands. Get the glue off my table. And off we go, off to the races. Do this fast because you're trapping your pockets. Oh, what did I do there? What's that? That's just paint. Look, my old teaching papers. Daily report. If you're not doing so well, you go on daily report. Oh, what a pain. I'm putting you on daily report. Oh, suffering, suck a dash. Okay, any bubbles? That looks pretty flat. Go around the edges, make sure those are firmly glued. Okay, there's the first layer. Now I develop the image more. You save all these papers and sometimes stare at them for a long time. They just sit there for a while and sort of percolate. And I get ideas about them, certain papers, not all of them. And I make the ones that are more suggestive open to my view all the time so that I can sort of think about them. And uh, they might be about five or six or seven open to my view, just lying around the room at any one time. And then sometimes I'll say, hmm, I'm going to turn that into something. Um, I don't normally work that way, but I work lots of ways. Normally, I work everything in one sitting, but sometimes these are going a little bit out of that formula. I mean, I'll make it all in one sitting, and then I won't touch it, but I normally don't let things percolate on my uh, psyche in that way. I normally just do everything in one shot. Okay, now I'm going to do more on this and try to figure out what the next step is. Okay, I've got a few other pieces that I'm going to... Glue into place. Okay. You're picking up excess glue as you do this all also. Oop, what is that doing in there? Okay. That was from before. These are little craft issues that you have to be concerned about. If you're making something, make sure that it's crafted well. In this case, that would mean, you know, 
make sure it's all stuck down properly. There's no excuse for something being shoddy. So it's just a little bit of care that you put into things. It's not ultra serious or ultra hard. Is that in focus? Doesn't seem to be in focus. There, that's in focus. Weird kind of autofocus on these cameras. I want that to crowd the edge. Oh, I see. I'm constantly lifting this page, so the autofocus on the cam is being confused a bit by that. So that's why the focus might have been going in and out. Oh well. We're getting a little bit of a record anyways. Okay, what's I going to do here? The nice thing about making art is you can indulge impulse very easily. And it's even encouraged. So where else do you get that? Well, probably in a lot of places, or a few places. But not that many places. In a few places. This is one place where you can indulge impulse all you want. So I just want to... I'm creating balance with these blues. But I'm also trying to define this area. Establish this area as maybe different from this. So I'm going to play around with a few more ideas and come back to you in a second. I'm going to put this piece right here. Ah, that'll happen sometimes. Got a lot of glue on it. Don't have to do anything, just put it back into place. In a slightly different place. Curve a little bit more up and put it there instead. Seems to connect a little better that way. I've got a little bit of glue on the back of this, so I don't want to use it anymore. I'll get a fresh one. What's this? Ha! Huh. Expense voucher. I saved all kinds of junk because I knew I'd be using papers. I use tons of papers like this. These are painted, this is painted on papers like this. This is archival paper here, and this is archival glue that I'm using. So it'll hold together longer than you or your children will be alive. We make efforts to make things last. Okay, now I'm going to stop again, consider. I'm going to paint into this a bit, but I'm, I want to know whether I'm going to put anything more collage based on this at the moment. So I'm going to think on that for a minute and then I'm going to come back in with some paint. And I'm just using my paint to integrate a bit, causing some connection and introducing a graphic element. And also to declare the theme maybe a little bit. Hmm. 
I like doing these collages. I may have mentioned, I may have not mentioned though either, I use different methods to make paintings. Never just one method because it gets monotonous. And the whole aim that I have anyways is to simply continue. So whatever allows me to continue is what I want to do. By continue, I mean over the years and forever. Um, I don't like what I just did there. So I'm going to take that out. So that's my eraser, a collage anyways. But collage working in this way allows things to happen that don't necessarily happen in, in kind of a perceptual painting. And we'll go more into that at other times. You have to understand that you never really know what you're doing. That's what this thing is. It's the business of never knowing what you're doing. I don't know if I like that there either. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Do I leave that smudge or do I take it out? Uh, okay. It seems to be too, too, too much touches in there, so I'm going to balance the touch there. Okay, and I want a little bit of light to appear here. stop but when exactly when exactly Maybe that's enough. Oops. Do another balance thing here. Create a little balance here. Hmm. Okay. Sorry, you can't really see that. You'll see it when I take a picture of it and post it at the beginning. It will be at the front of the video. Hmm. Still don't like that part there. What do I have to do here? Thank you. 
No, take that out. How about that one there? Just trying to see the Okay, I gotta stop and look at it. <laughs> 